so we have already seen halogenation we have seen combustion reaction let's come back to see oxidation reaction so here there is one important thing controlled oxidation here we are going to add oxygen with limited supply of air so oxidation would be no addition of oxygen here what you should remember is when we do controlled oxidation alkenes may be converted to alcohols alkenes may be converted to aldehydes alkenes may be converted to acids also so let us see so for such reactions we uh, we require catalyst very important so catalyst what do they do they enhance the speed of the chemical reaction isn't it so the catalyst which i'm going to use here is copper at 5 or 25 uh, kelvin 100 atmospheres pressure and I'm going to use one more catalyst. What is the name of this? MO2O3. Just see, this is called, let me write, molybdenum sesquioxide. Molybdenum sesquioxide. Next catalyst which I'm going to use is, see, it's the chick taken twice, MN. Okay, this is manganese acetate. Next catalyst, silver oxide. Apart from all these catalysts, we are also going to use limited supply of oxygen air or oxygen at high pressure. So, next important thing, limited supply of air or oxygen at high pressure. Correct? These are the things. Now, let's see the reaction. So, suppose first one when I take, I said I am using these catalysts, isn't it? Now, first I am going to take the basic alkane, that is methane. Here I am going to use, see, okay, let me take like this, C, H, 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 H and H. Here I am going to take two modes. Now, what am I going to do? I said limited supply of oxygen. So, I am going to use a catalyst copper at uh, 573 Kelvin, 100 atmospheres, 775 Kelvin. Right. So, now what will happen? Oxygen, I said oxidation. So, oxidation when I do, okay, O and O, O2, limited supply of oxygen. So, what happens? This see here, there is a cleavage here, isn't it? Yes, this becomes CH3OH. Once again, there's a cleavage here, CH3OH. So, what we get? We get a CH3OH methanol 2 moles. Again, 2. Let's count. Carbon are how many? 2 here. Here also, 2. Hydrogen are how many here? 3, 2 is a 6 plus 1, 7. If I see this, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, everything uh, is, uh, this one is a dead. So, um, is a 7? Let us see, 3, 2 is a 6. 7, 8. Okay. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 2, 0, 8. Done. Oxygens are 2. Here also, oxygens are 2. So, what is this? This is a conversion of alkene into alcohol. So, so this is methanol. 1 carbon. Now, suppose if I take the next catalyst, the second catalyst, that is your, uh, uh, what do you say, molybdenum sesquioxide. Let's take. Now, here, what am I going to do? Again, I am going to take an alkane. Just see here, H and H. Again, it is limited supply of oxygen and I am going to use MO2. Small O. First is capital, second is small. Now, what happens when you do this limited supply of uh, uh, oxidation? Just see here, in this case, you get a product like this. Oxidation, isn't it? H, C, H, there is a cleavage here, H, C, H, O and H, 2, O, okay, right, let us write that, H, C, H, O plus water molecule, so what is the name of this compound, this, this is called formaldehyde, formaldehyde, so, we have come, come back to alkenes to aldehydes in the specific. In the exam, you should remember, in the presence of this, you get alcohol. In the presence of sesquioxide, you get aldehydes. You should remember the reagent and go. Right. Now, we have seen what actually... Uh, like, concept of controlled oxidation using what which uh, catalyst. I have used both... 
uh, your molybdenum sesqui oxide as well as copper. Now, let's see one two sets more. What are they? I said I'm using uh, the different catalysts in it. Now, here I'm going to convert. Just see here, we are going to convert long chain alkenes into fatty acids okay that is done and one more thing here i'm going to convert uh, but here i'm going to use a different reagent the reagent which i'm going to use is manganese acetate manganese acetate or silver oxide now next important thing the last reducing um, the last type of uh, oxidizing agent which i'm going to use is here in this case i'm going to convert or use KMnO4 which is an oxidizing agent it helps in oxidation right let's see suppose if I take this what is that long chain alkane if I have a chain a long chain like this N what is this it's repeating and repeating and repeating the chain it goes on like that suppose if I'm using this catalyst then that is CH3 CO taken twice Mn and AR AgR silver oxide and heat then what will happen this particular thing there is a cleavage of the bond here we are adding oxygen isn't it yes so when this particular cleavage of the bond and this goes and adds here because oxidation isn't it so see these two will go and add here this becomes COOH okay right let's write that CH3 CH2 taken n times this becomes COOH so fatty acids long chain fatty acid what is left out there is one hydrogen gas which is involved of hydrogen COOH and two hydrogens is hydrogen gas so that is a long chain fatty acid suppose if I take K4 I said it is an oxidizing agent done here you can take any example basically I am taking this example which is a specific okay uh, CH uh, red hydrogen you can anything any chain you can take out take and do here you can extend the chain here you can ex extend not a problem so here i'm going to use k 4 as an oxidizing agent here what are we going to do oxidation process so i'm going to add nascent oxygen here this nascent oxygen goes and adds so basically what is this compound one two three four correct so it is two methyl This is if I take 2 methyl, 3 carbon, propane. Now, this oxygen goes and adds to this hydrogen in the presence of KMnO4. What do I get? Write the same here CH3, C, CH3, CH3, OH. Now, what will happen? 2 methyl, let us write 2 methyl, prop, propan. 2 all 2 methyl propan 2 all so what is happening here we are taking alkane in the presence of our oxidizing agent we are getting alcohol alkanes to alcohol so simple thing remember in control oxidation process we have used all the four what are all the four the first one is copper catalyst where alkanes are converted into yes i i told you just uh, regret go back and see copper alkanes are converted into alcohols then after copper we have used molybdenum sesqui oxide then alcohols are converted to aldehydes then i'm using next type of catalyst that is manganese acetate there the alkanes are converted into acids last but not the least here we have used an oxidizing agent that is k 4 where an alkane is converted into alcohol so this is your controlled oxidation student let me come back and meet with isomerism reaction yes